Good evening. I hope you had a great day, and I hope you began your day with a reading from the Love Your Neighbor No Exceptions Flip Calendar. Now remember, if you did not receive one of these, you can contact the church office. You can go by and pick one up or make arrangements. If you're not able to get out, we'll get one to you. And so we hope that you'll begin each day as part of your devotional time with that day's reading. And so let me begin and flip to uh, today's reading. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Romans chapter 12, verse 15. Have you ever had that special friend that you knew without a doubt, whatever you told them, they were going to be there for you? And so it, you knew if you had good news to share that they would be genuinely as excited as you were about the good news, or that if you had something sad to share that had happened to you, you knew they would stop everything and sit down and be there for you in your time of need. Those are incredible friends. And that is the kind of person that we're called to be to others to be there for others in their point of need, wherever they are. If they're happy or if they're sad, we're to be there with them. Now, when I was growing up in junior high band, my grandparents were there for all of my concerts. Now, looking back, uh, junior high band concerts are really rough. You have students just learning and... There's lots of squawking and flat notes and people coming in at the wrong times. Junior high band concerts are tough to listen to unless they are El Sistema. But I wasn't in El Sistema. I was in a junior high band and we were all just learning and I know that they were rough. But you couldn't have uh, convinced my grandparents of that. If I came off stage riding high, my grandparents were there to celebrate with me, acting as if I'd been uh, playing with the Philharmonic. And if I came off and I was sad because I thought I had messed up, they were there to comfort and reassure me. Now, as I grew in band, you know, went to high school and I started off in college in symphony and college band. I knew, looking back, that my grandparents had faked it all those years ago because I knew that those were terrible performances compared to where I was then. Uh, I knew that there was no way they could have loved them. And I thought that up until our son, Brooks, was in junior high band. Now, I knew my grandparents loved me, and I thought that was the reason they faked their excitement at those concerts until Brooks' first concert. And it was everything a junior high band concert truly is. And I was so excited for him. I was so proud. And he came off stage riding high and I was there my husband and I were there and we celebrated with him just as proud as if he had been playing with the Philharmonic. And when other concerts he would come off rather dejected, thinking he had messed up, we were there to comfort and reassure him. But we were so proud of him and we could see from one concert to the next, um, his and the band's improvement. We truly loved those concerts. We were proud of him. Because we loved him, we heard and saw things uh, through that love. And because we loved him, we could meet him wherever he was, whether he was happy and riding high, whether he was sad and upset about something in the performance. We could meet him and be at that point of his need because of our incredible love for him. And it reminded me that my grandparents weren't faking it. They were genuine in their celebration and in, the, in their consolation of me. They loved me so much 
that they would be with me wherever I was in my moment of need. We're called to do that for others, to love others to the degree that we will be with them at whatever point they are in. If they are excited, we will be excited with them. If they're grieving, we will grieve with them. Be that kind of person for the people that you encounter. Remember, we're called to rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. I hope you have a great rest of the evening. Take care.